What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against these Russian guys. Um, don't really know how all their uh, clan information was in Russian, so don't even really know how to pronounce their name, but uh, kind of a mixed mixed bunch. They tried their best. Um, they didn't bring really a lot of gold wipes or any two-star strats. They tried you know, a lot of shattered gohos. They just really struggled with breaking the bases down properly and and creating those those proper entry points. I think Kickback's base got hit eight times. I, let's check this out. Actually, <clears throat> flipping over, so eighty five sixty six. No, no chance. Uh, I think we were even in the town hall tens. To double check that, they didn't even go for two on ice. I thought that was pretty strange. Um, just want to check. Oops. Uh, my team defenses. Let's check this out. Kickbacks, <laughs> eight attacks, and they didn't even get the three. Ninety-four percent was the best shot at that. So you know they struggled. Um, I could just tell from their attacks they had an idea, they had a grasp, uh, but we're just new and just weren't there. We've all been there. I mean, I know it took me a really long time before my first, <laughs> my first attempted shattered goho was successful. You know, so um, there's a lot of little things that you, that uh, you, you just learn as you go and uh, as you learn that stuff, you get better and better. So they use most of their attacks, but uh, missed most of the nines. Um, got a few three stars in there, so good job for them. Uh, we got one Town Hall 10 three star. So yeah, sorry, we did have a Town Hall 10 advantage, I think by by two. Uh, definitely was not a very fair matchup in the sense. So um, don't don't want to put too much emphasis on this war. Uh, have some really nice attacks to show you. Uh, I think we did a really good job. Uh, just missed a couple of the nines there. Um, so I mean, really. Really good job overall by Invicta. Uh, let's jump in and check out Mark's TH10 triple here. <clears throat> now, last the last 2.0 war, I was uh, showing K one of KNX's triples on a max TH10. I was explaining uh, you can do the same thing at a lesser scale. If you have lesser heroes um, and the base is not maxed like this one, you know, Mark's heroes are 31, 35, not maxed by any means. Uh, and he applies the same principles, the same suicide, suicide uh, hero swap, uh, gets the queen, pulls the CC troops, gets an air defense, and he sends in four lava hounds, bunch of balloons. He's going to have a horseshoe of hastes going around here, just kind of pushing everything up into this core. As soon as the balloons get in range of this inferno tower, he's going to drop a freeze and then a rage and then another freeze for the back end inferno tower. Just, just. Just like I was explaining in, in the, the KNX triples against these max TH10s, right? It's the principles apply. You just have to judge, you know, how strong are your heroes and how strong is this base um, to judge whether it's a possibility that you can three star. But you'd be more surprised. More often than not, it can happen. Now, if you're in a clan war, I would definitely suggest you make sure the base gets two starred before you're going for three star attempts because strats like these if they go bad generally you're not going to get two stars you might not even get one star so these guys go for these triples in wars where we just uh, designate them to practice it or in an arranged war they definitely would never go for a triple unless all the nines were cleared and all the tens were two star so uh, just something to keep in mind guys as you can see though mark just rolled over this base i really like the patience on those four balloons you dropped from this back end to just kind of trail in on these last few defenses pops all over the base just killed it beautiful love showing an invicta th10 triple good job mark right uh peter stepping up number 20 hitting number six so peter's been killing it for us since he moved up to invicta it's just awesome uh had quite a few of his replays shown in our recap so far he brings a max attack here this time uh a stoned max attack so he's only got one lava hound uh he's going to open up this whole section with the earthquakes and that opens up these two er uh, air defense right away the cc troops this queen's going to hop over the, that wall when they get close. Like, no questions asked about that. So, open up the queen as well. Plus, if his queen is standing here, both those air defense are, are easily gettable. And, and I know he just wants at least three. He could potentially get all four, but I'm pretty sure he only gets three. So, the CC kind of starts coming out. 
all three of those golems just tanking in there like bosses delaying on the king which i liked a lot king's about to go down now that the cc is locked on to the golems poison's down for the cc he even drops a couple hogs to kind of keep the progression of the golems moving into the core uh, so the hogs are going to help take care of these couple defenses and make the golems reroute into the middle cc troops are now handled looking good sweepers going down queen's going to step up take out these few defenses gets the second sweeper and I believe she's about to take down that third air defense. There she goes. She's locking on now. As soon as she locks on that air defense, Peter's going to go ahead and drop his Llama Hound and fan out some balloons on each of these defenses on the outside. Does not get this fourth air defense, but really, he got every other piece of, of air D possible. I like how there's the hole in the base, so he just drops two loons right on top of the Tesla. That was kind of funny. Uh, doesn't manage to get this hound to pop, I don't believe, uh, but it doesn't matter. He's got stuff all over this base. Peter just killed this guy. No mercy, brother. Just a few more trash buildings here on cleanup, and that's your three star. Good job, Peter. All right, let's check out number 11, King Brett. Like the attacks he's been bringing, he makes, uh, he brings a max attack, but with just a shattered and three lava hounds. So you can kind of change that that number up, guys. The key to the max attack is using your spells on on your entire kill squad to give them that push to get everything they can. The we'll just say the the maximum value of stuff. Because you're using all the spells to keep that king alive. Keep those golems up as long as possible. Keep your king's barbs up when he rages. Things like that, right? You're going to drop the, the heal that goes down. Boom, just keeping that stuff alive. Uh, poison goes down for the CC troops. Rage goes down. Just missed his queen on the rage. I had made a mention of that in one of my last recaps. It is so important. There she goes. She steps into it now to help finish off those CC troops. So just in time. But it's really imperative, guys. You get that queen in the rage. You, you lose a ton of DPS if she is not standing in it. Uh, king is still looking good. Really needs to get these air defenses, though. Uh, queen's kind of stuck on this crossbow. The king takes one down. Uh, he's got two air defenses left and three uh, lava hounds, though. So he's golden. He sends, it, sends one in right away. Couple balloons, another lava hound going in, just kind of staggering things, nice and slow. He kind of wants the progression of his balloons to go clockwise up and around the nine o'clock position here. His last lava hound goes on that last air D, still just two two balloons or one balloon per each defense. Everything's looking pretty good at this point. He's just got to get everything over to this last remaining air defense. That Tesla is about to go down. That is huge as well. One drop from that, boom, down it goes, arch tower down, air defense down. It is basically clean up, just a cannon, couple whiz towers on the back end here. Don't think he ends up getting this hound to burst, which is unfortunate. Uh, the, the whiz tower is insanely close at taking that stuff out, but Brett is very smart and saves two balloons and a third balloon for cleanup. So really good thinking there brett but by this point look at all those pups <laughs> insane beautiful attack good job brett right number 14 arcs haven't shown one arcs as replays in a while and i really like this one it was one of the only queen walks of the war actually um arcs brings the heat here though it's kind of like a golem walk uh, we'll call it uh it's a golem walk that just turns into healing for this part of the kill squad it's great it's, it's, arcs just completely sections off this base and handles it like a boss so kind of watch this develop here the golem is gonna reroute as soon as that arch tower goes down over that cannon uh queen's just gonna keep clearing this trash out he drops a wizard on the other side to start creating that funnel he's gonna push this golem and the queen up in here and get the cc troops and kind of these defenses he sends a hog in here i think um on that whiz tower which is fantastic Oh, excuse me. Um, just to take out that whiz tower, uh, stop it from uh, cleaning up any of those wizards. Um, good value on that one-for-one one trade. Queen's in there. King's about to go down. Poison goes down. Great patience on the poison as well um, to make sure you got that dragon in it. Fantastic job. Queen locks onto the dragon. She's standing in rage. Just going to take him down in a moment's notice. Even locks onto the crossbow. I think gets the crossbow and this Tesla here that pops. Boom, crossbow goes down, Tesla goes down, cannon's about to go down. Oh, the bombs take out the, the wizards. But if you notice on this other side, he's now dropped a jump, his king, and a healer. 
versus king so uh king goes in takes out the queen even drops a few hogs out, out on this side to start taking defenses down everything like what how much is going on at once in this attack like there's a bunch of hogs at the top he's got cleanup wizards at the top the heel went down early for the hogs which is great there's two wizards towers a mortar and a crossbow that is about to die like just absolutely wreck this base fantastic job arcs that hogs in the was that two cleanup hogs you saved too just unreal just destroyed that base nice job okay we'll uh we'll fit one more in here drop down to 22 i had no that's arcs again where was it oh yes chad so chad brings a, another max attack here uh gets pretty good value from the earthquake there really if you can open two air defense as a sweeper make sure you're going in where the cc troops are and get the queen that's really good value plus that crossbow is in there um so you really and it's super close so he only needs to bring a shattered entry handful of wizards going down there to um to create that funnel uh sends in the one test wall breaker it is good it's going to send in two more takes care of that no problem wall gets opened up golems are going to route in great patience on the king Wizards are stepping up, helping take out those defenses. King goes in. Golems are still continuing to move in the exact direction he needs them to. Lava Hound comes out of the CC, but the rage goes down. The Wizards and Queen are going to pop that very quickly. As soon as it pops, the pups will be loose, but it doesn't matter. That's, he needs it just to go down as fast as possible. Uh, the Hound is really just a time killer for your kill squad. So when you're bringing a max attack, everything's standing under a rage. Like, I love where the, what the Queen just did. Like... <laughs> she ran over to get a pup that was over here and then the pup flew back over the wall so she hit the wall once and then just like uh okay i guess i'll attack this <laughs> uh anyhow but the defensive queen is down both those air defenses are down things are looking great at this point there is a couple pups still alive but no big deal i think they're gonna path over that queen in a moment anyways and she takes care of them uh the hounds are in uh he does miss one of those bombs with the hound but no big deal two to uh two three balloons per each defense on the outside here just looking fantastic at this point one hound on each air defense tanking everything like there's nothing really touching these balloons at all and they're just moving in bit by bit taking out every single defense in these bottom bottom chambers uh really at this point there's only a handful of defenses there's about eight balloons on top of that last remaining air defense this last tesla's about to go down chad just destroyed this base good job man pops everywhere a ton of balloons left Not barely anything touched your balloons what i really liked about this attack all right, like I said, not the greatest bases, not the most exciting war, but uh, some nice attacks, nice chance to uh, to get some uh, fundamentals uh, solidified for yourself. Uh, Invicta has an arranged war coming up. Uh, leadership is keeping it very hush-hush from us, so um, I'm excited to see what it is, and I hope you guys are too, because there's going to be some fantastic content. I've uh, got a lot of new Swarm guys up here killing it, so I know this is the first range war for a lot of of these guys and they're really excited and we're gonna have a great weekend of planning uh lots of replays coming so beautiful uh that does it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you guys bag that next three star and until then i'm out